So guys, there's been a post on Reddit, okay? We, we were like reading some of them recently. Now one talking about Feral Druid made by Stanced X. And it's titled, Feral Needs Emergency Help Blizzard. Okay? Uh, so it's gonna just go through it and, uh, and yeah, it's gonna see what the post's talking about because Feral, it's rough, okay? Like, Feral can do well, you know, like, I'm, you know, very high CR, like, it, it, it can be done, but it's, it's really hard. Especially, like, as a new player going at Feral, I think it's, like, maybe the single most hard spec to, like, learn and play. It's, like, so far from plug and play. Because, yeah, you have to, like, just start... Yeah, you have to play a very certain way to actually perform. Um, but yeah, just gonna see what 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 this post is talking about, and uh, I'll, I'll talk about like what I agree with, what I disagree with, and uh, yeah. I posted a comment in another thread, so please excuse my laziness. But frankly, this deserves its own post because it's gotten out of hand. Farrells can barely play the game arena as of now, and something has to be done. So call for help. That every feral is reverberating. I think, yeah, it's true. Like, every Feral is, is basically complaining. Like, the rank ones, the the non-rank ones, everyone. From high CR to low CR, everyone is kind of in agreement with this. That uh, there are some, some glaring issues with our survivability. And the stats also do show this. Feral is the single most killed melee in Shuffle. And in, in Arena General, I believe, as well. Uh, at least in Shuffle. It feels pretty awful to play right now. I've mained uh, Feral for going on two decades since feels like it's worst iteration. I, I guess, like, for me, I really do enjoy aspects of Feral right now. I do. Um, some aspects more than others, of course. But yeah. At the beginning of Dragonfly, armor was nerfed across the board, meaning bear form is less efficient. They nerf friends to regen it multiple times and then regrowth multiple times as a trade off for the AoE build. And the same damage is putting out at the beginning of season one. It's true. Early Dragonflight, like we were doing absurd. And I mean, like the most insane cleave damage. And we kind of like, I feel like they, they nerfed us like in other ways to kind of compensate that. But like now, when that kind of went away a bit, you're left kind of being like, yo, now what? Um, I think bear form itself, like armor, feels fine. But it's more like a region healing in bear form feels really, really bad. Uh, fast forward today and with, with the same negative modifiers on most of healing spells. Uh, true, except for the, the regrowth re reversal, which honestly feels great. I just really hope they also uh, reverse the region nerf as well. Because region just like feels so bad. But it can like be behind a pillar, double heart of the wild, double, re or double region with heart of the wild. And die to like three two or two three dots. It's it's kind of sad. Uh, no new tools or or, or or gap abilities to speak uh, to the mobility creep of, of, of the classes. Our AOE was nerfed into the dirt as trade off for big buy talent. So, so now what we're left with is just a very inefficient version of Asa Rogue with subpar burst, subpar damage in co comparison to things like Deej, DK Warrior, Windwalker, subpar ability, and almost zero defensives. You can't reasonably shift out of souls anymore because every spec is slow that's baked into rotation. Even passive souls now. She so spam shift and stop all your damage and healing in the process just for a word to blaze some roots. Charge you, then leap, then charge you again. Um, this is like lar largely true. I think like it's maybe painting Feral in like a bit too bad picture. Like in in my view, like Feral is actually pretty damn good right now, okay? But you have to play it like a very certain way. You have to like really know how to squeeze the value out of your cyclone, your tear sets, um, your roots. Your kicks, your stunts, like everything kind of has to be on point. And uh, you can like do a lot. Like Cyclone is really, really strong right now. Th the Cyclone spam is really good. You don't like necessarily need to spam Cyclone um, to like do well in shovels. But if you can get like good Cyclone value, it it's going to help a lot. Like that's really kind of where the big um, pressure we uh, create comes from. Uh, but yeah, it, 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 it's really rough sometimes like... If you feel like you can't cyclone, then it's just really br br brutal sometimes. Um, but yeah, let's see here. Uh, se several things to happen for Feral to have a good season. And I know these are Band-Aid, but we can't, can't expect the full tree work mid-season out of the blue. I like that. Like, because you can, like, come with all these uh, suggestions that are, like, really out there that would just, like, realistically never actually happen. Okay, we need higher throughput with bleeds. I agree. I think, like, bleeds baseline, like... 
before you slap on like these like modifiers in the town tree i think they should just do more damage um definitely like right now like the big bleed or like we, we play kind of a big bite build in, in in the single target i think like slightly more damage is like in, in in the actual baseline abilities will be good even though damage isn't really um the main uh problem for us right now Ursine, uh, Vigor should be baseline. Really true. Like, I think, dude, this thing baseline would be awesome. Okay, my mage. So I can't show right now. I should like, log my feral. Like I said, I think our biggest problem is more in our survivability. For sure. And I think Ursine going baseline would be really, really helpful. Because, like, it, it's, it's a really cool spell where it, it kind of rewards pre bear farming and such, you know? Like, it's a cool talent. So I do hope that, that is something they could uh, look into. Like, this tree in general, I mean, it's been flawed for a while. But we've been talking about it since early Dragonfly beta. It never really changed the, the general uh, Drew tree. Uh, Regrowth of Energy Region built into it. I think Regrowth could have some things done to it. I don't know if Energy Region built into it is, is necessarily, like, what we need. I think that that could be a cool interaction, though, for sure. Wild Church of two charges, or we need uh, a small one-second freedom built into our shifting. Like, these two last ones are a bit more out there, but, um... You can, like, touch it earlier, where, like, more classes are kind of ca catching up to, um... Feral in mobility, and that's kind of, like, been one of the things that, that, we're, that, that, that have been, you know, great about us. And, uh, I think, like, some type of mobility thing could be, could be cool. Maybe, like, make a talent that we could spec into that makes our shapeshifting better. If these things happen, we could maybe even move away from the ball tomb style of playing, where you absolutely have to spam clone to win. Sure, good, good for Frozen Clone, but if you're uh, trying to land uh, Clone vs. Arshan, Walking Dead, all game, uh, then you throw in the game. Yeah, like, some matchups are just really, really hard to Cyclone. You still do it, like, I think pre cog is a great thing. If, you, if you're good at fake casting, you can still get that value. If you're not allowed in Clones, all game, you're also throwing, so we're, so we're at TF, does that leave us versus half the ladder with the micro Sea Galore? As of right now, the only way to Frog can be remotely come at this play with something in three, specifically as such as Beam Hunter. And even the, then the BM would be largely better off by choosing any other DPS, save for a mage. I, I I can't really, like, speak much on threes this season. Like, I barely played any threes this season. I, I played some. I should play, play some uh, d uh, d Devastation Feral on about 2-4 uh, 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 MR. Edit. After several commentaries dropping the highly anticipated and variance I've alerted play argument, I did bring a very well put comment uh, left down there up to the text body. Uh, the same 10 frowls that I rank 1 every season are about the only players still playing the spec actively and even some of them are dropping it. Uh, uh, a, a lot of these guys would usually have 3 frowls going on ladder since we're a cult, such a cult following spec. When T Tony, Snoopy, Cassidy, Axe, Infused, etc. are all active playing uh, the specs more often and, and get to high ratings uh, on specs that are on feral, it's kind of apparent that's an issue. I do play like a lot of ults right now. I'm not high rating like, I, like none of my ults are close to my feral. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I I've I've been ulting a lot for me. I think ulting has just been good fun. I'm not sure about like Tony and and, and Cassidy, Axe and Fuse if they got a higher CR on. Here's the thing with feral. Like I think for like multi rank one like experienced ferals, like you, you it, it's good. Like you you make it work on any rating. I think it's more, it's like really hard to get into and and. Our survivability is so bad, and when you're the main target and your survivability is bad, you make a feral, you queue up, you're the main target every game. You go 06 at your first shuffle, like it's just it's just not it's not a good time. Um, which is why like our defensive the defensives is the the biggest issue by far. You know, it's a good post, man. Overall, I, I don't agree with everything, but um. Uh, a good post overall, and it does highlight some issues. I like this one right here a lot. Um, I do. As a fellow for all main, I don't want to sound like an echo chamber because I always seem to agree with the positions in the class. However, it's really hard to, to dissent when it comes to Feral's current survivability. I I'm typing this in bed, so forgive me if it's all the place, but I just wanted to share my thoughts. The unnerved Rigos feel no uh, noticeably better. Agreed. I think Rigos actually feel pretty good now, especially for me. Like, I play a lot of uh, double DBS 2v2, and uh, it's been feeling really, really good in uh, in those. I said before, and I maintain that current Heart of the Wild Rigos need to be baseline Rigos. 
Uh, I agreed. I, I, I agree with that. Like, that kind of healing. Heart of the Wild in general needs to be stronger, except the Cyclone cast times. For 5 minutes CD, I, I should not be dying through a Heart of the Wild bear form at all. Either, either keep the current stats and lower the CD or buff the bonuses. Um, True. Like, you know, like, Ardrus have that PP town now that uh, proc them heart. I think heart, like, a 5 minute CD, like, make it like 3 minutes or something like that. And, um, but I gotta say as well, the uh, cast time on Cyclones has been feeling really good. And that's also, like, how I've been pushing, like, a lot of trouble as well. Is really getting the the value out of, um, out of the heart. So, like, that's been feeling really, really good. Uh, Frost used to be, to be the king of ability. Now they feel mediocre at, at best most times. I've tried to uh, run away from DH. It's almost impossible. They're a halfway decent player. I thought for now that either Dash, and Peter or Wild Charge is buffed badly, but honestly, I think feeling swiftness needs to be far more accessible. I don't remember the last time I took uh, took it except for twos. Yeah, so, um... Like, a lot of time, like, it's not really worth specking feline swiftness. I think this is, like, since early Dragonfly beta, we've been talking about the Druid tree. I think it's just not a great tree. It feels really bad. Like, same with, like, grabbing clone. Um... Like, now Clone is so strong, you have to play it, but before, you gotta, like, literally waste five points to get the Cyclone, which has been a thing, you know, since we talked about, since early, early beta for Feral. For me, like, I think the most simple buff for Feral that, that, that would, like, make it feel a lot better is, uh, the first thing, like, unnerf regen, because regen just sucks right now, like, it, it, it doesn't heal at all. Someone is, like, make us passively a little bit stronger, I think. Uh... Defensively. However, there's no reason for us to still be playing for now. Additionally, uh, I, I want to see more uh, fun functionality out, out of having to bear form. I want us to be able to, to either build comp points in bear form or to gain the amount of damage reduction. Whereas it makes no sense to train uh, through bear form. I actually, think, I think like more utility in bear form. Like not even like from like a perspective of, of like it, it being very strong or like weak. I think having more to do in bear form could be um, like could make it more... Uh, more fun catharsis this guy's a lot of uh ideas actually <laughs> god damn it feels like i didn't have to play when you target every round of shuffle and it seems like there's little recourse having some punch and bear from uh move we make me feel like uh, a druid and not a bargain brand rogue and i think like also like the, the facts are ferals are the most killed melee in shuffle like that that's just you know the stats show that right uh, I, I forget. It. We should find the website again that, that has the stats. But, um, like, it's a thing. Like, some people kind of meme on Feral. It's like, oh, Feral's broken. Uh, it's actually, like, the, the, the best spec in the game. But you guys gotta, gotta, like, go and, like, look at the actual numbers of, like, how it's actually performing. And then, um, you know, you'll kind of see how, how it's actually performing. I, I, I played right. Well, right now, like, what's kind of saving Feral right now from being really bad? For the good players, is Wild Tumant and Cyclone. This is uh, kind of like what's saving Feral from being, I would say, like really bad right now. Is this and the the synergy it has with four sets, um, which is a whole different argument. Like if that's good for Feral, if that's like even like a fun playstyle, many people don't like it. Like if it wasn't for for this one new PP talent, Feral would be. Oof. I actually don't know how bad it would be, but we'd be really bad. So, like, this is a point that, 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 that I also say, Jujuko, uh, but, like, it's important to, to realize why this is and not just be like, Feral's actually good uh, for, like, you know, if, if you're playing high CR. It's good if you're, like, really good at cloning, fake casting, landing clone, spamming clone, biting, spamming clone, biting, which is, is a whole different argument or, like, a whole different discussion. Because, um, like, if that was gone, man, like, we, we would be... Which just kind of goes to show. Every day in my chat, like, someone comes in, like, they're like, oh, Feral freaking sucks. It's the worst spec ever. Like, I'm not there. And then some people are like, yo, Feral's, like, insane. It's actually crazy good. It's just, uh, you, you suck. Whatever to, to, to bad Feral's. And it's just not, it, it's not one of those. It's just not that, you know? And, um, I think beyond, like, viability as well, it, it's about thinking, like, how good a spec feels to play. Like, you, you can have a spec that's insanely strong or insanely weak. And it can be very fun to play or not fun to play at all. Um, 
And like many suggestions aren't even necessarily about buffing it. it it's also about like how it feels to play it. Man, like a, a good Drew Tree rework, which I've been saying for you know over a year now since beta, that would be so good. Uh, big bites are cool, but for all it should be a bleed for uh, class first. I'm missing, um, missing, messing with the build that takes the 6% bonus on and after Incarn Swarm, Double Fury, Fancy, and Blood Talents. It feels decent, but not what some, some of the class are capable of. Yeah. I do enjoy the big bite build, I do. But, um,. The thing is, like, right now, if you go, like, a bleed build, you're just, like, doing less damage than, like, basically everything in single target. I gotta say that. But even in Cleave, like, I've been doing some shovels recently. Even in Cleave, on details, I'm topping damage. But, like, if you actually, like, look at the, the damage meter on players, even in full Cleave situations, DH, DK, like, you know, most of these classes do more even in full Cleave right now uh, on actual players. But... Often, as a Feral, I'll do like, I'll face like Demo BM, right? And all on details, I'm doing like, like 250k DPS. Uh, and like, just crazy damage. And then you check the details, like 75% of it is on the pets. And it's and then, you know, you can't just read details only, basically. It doesn't really form. And then on, on, on the actual scoreboard, you're doing, you know, less. Uh, Wild Tumor, this is uh, uh, Contagion. How does his word? Wild Tumant, this is a contentious one, apparently, but I personally uh, love the sound. Uh, when I can't get a clone off, I don't see myself ever not taking it as long as the auto shift into cat form is attached. Uh, does it need to be nerfed? I don't think so. Does it incredibly punish players who don't kick ferals 100%? I agree. Like, I enjoy Wild Tumant. I do. I, I think it's cool talent. I think. Like, but, but yeah, again, like, with how feral is now, like, and, and this post also talks about, like, you basically just have to spam clone to even keep up. I agree with a lot of it. Uh, enough uh, lamenting about my, my fair class for now. I hope I made sense. And I'll circle back in the morning and clear up anything that needs. But all in all, Frels, uh, Frels, Drew Tree, needs a rework. Agreed. Been saying that for a year and six months now. Uh, I've uh, never gotten glad, but I've been forever duelist since returning to the game. Uh, when COVID hit and my first two, four, and threes last season, I may not have the same experience, but I've had this, the, the the time played and love the class. Dude, like, this is good. Like, you don't need to be, like, friggin' 10 times rank one, 3,800 XP to, like, you know, to have an opinion. This is good. Like, which some people are like, oh, you're not even glad or whatever. And this guy's glad, though. Like, the uh, OP is glad. But, yeah, like, um, he's played a lot. And, and yeah, he's, he's feedback to come. Uh... Or to say, huh? This is like spec. Okay, wait. Spec performance. Yeah, let's see here. First blood. Destro. Guys, is that, is that out of all the specs? Okay. All the specs in the game. Destro actually the most. Okay, first blood, rather. First blood. Gotta say that. But I guess like every round, right? It's first blood. So, yeah. Destros are nice to go, though, to be fair. But like, look at this jump, by the way. Like, Destro Feral, right? And then look at this now. 69, 66, 58. All right? And then caster, melee, feral, caster, caster, I mean, MM, ranged, caster, 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 enhance. It's the closest melee with the to, to uh, first blood. Guys, so uh, that's that though. We kind of went through some of that stuff. Again, I don't agree with like every suggestion. I don't think, but I think it, overall it's a good post. The highlights, some some very real issues with Feral. I love Feral, even though like I've not been playing it that much recently. You know, it's a blast. I got a few more threes uh, to kind of test it out more too. But uh, but yeah, it's a good post though.